So over the summer I said, if you got educational tourism ideas, write them up and send them to the governor's office. Send them to your congressman's office or congresswoman's office. And I said, Atlas, you see, Reader's Digest. Just educate, save the United States. Atlas of what? America. It doesn't say United States of America. That's what we want. This Atlas of America. One big continent. Now, I was talking to somebody and I said, you know, some people don't even know the Florida history. You know? And I says, man, can you digest this? You know, into your brain. So, I want to tell you a little about Indian heritage. You see those navy oranges, you know? Naval oranges. See? Vitamin C, nutrition, you know? Vitamin, can you see it? For your brain. So, we said, you know, see? Battles of Menendez found time to build St. Augustine, which since has managed to withstand skirmishes among the Spanish, British, Americans, and Indians, which has the distinction of being the oldest surviving settlement in the United States. See? I'll tell you. And then you gotta wonder, you know? You see, as settlers streamed in northern Florida, they forced a showdown with the Indians fiercely independent and firmly entrenched in a labyrinth of swampland, the Seminole lived up to their name, which is derived either from the Greek words is there simile? You see? Is there simile? You know what a simile is? Like a simile word, you know? Is it simile? You know? Or simolia, you see? Now meaning wild men or separatist or from the Spanish you know, Simarin, you see? And then you go, well, meaning unruly, you know? Instead of Samaritan, it was Samarin, you know? So we go, whoa, what well, a Seminole guerrilla raiders, look, you see, locked the U.S. Army into a costliest Indian war it would ever fight, you see? You know? I seen a woman down there and I said, hey, you gotta see this. I want you to know what the American Indians did for some of those other settlers. So you go, well, you look over here and you say, Although several bands of Seminole agreed to move west in 1832, they didn't find out till later that no one of African ancestry would be allowed to go with them. After generations of intermarriage, hundreds of families would have been separated. Chief Osceola, you see, Osceola, whose wife was half black, persuaded several other Seminole leaders to protest at a meeting with General Wiley Thompson in October 1834. You see, the American Indians stood up for the African settlers. So now you know why I was saying this and that and says, look, I'm not racist. I want you to know what those Indians did for those black American settlers from Africa.